turn my phone off But that's where all my friends are What do I do? Why is it so... Hey there everyone! I am going to be showing you today on how I do mine blowout um, Mostly not using any heat The only heat I will be using as of right now is obviously blow drying my hair and then I try to stay avoid from anything like styling irons or just styling irons and styling tools that burn my hair. So I am mostly going to make sure my hair is dry and then I will get to the point of curling it by using heatless curls and I'll show you in my next step on how I do that. So I freshly washed my hair just now. It's still wet but it's dried up with my towel. I've been sitting in my towel while I was doing my makeup so that was about I'm gonna say like 30 minutes at most. It's moist but it's not like really wet. After I dry my hair out, I will be using the silk curler and I will only be using it for 15 minutes. So these techniques are extremely fast to me especially while I'm getting ready so it's not a big deal for me. So what I first do is I'm going to section out my hair. I, I would start off with a middle part like so, and that's how I like to blow dry my hair and the first parts would be my bangs these will be going on to my um, so this thing I forgot what it's called but it's gonna go on this I'm gonna style it as as so this way it's when I put it up it's going to be away from my face so we're starting off with a blow dryer what I'm gonna be using is this one by Revlon it's a brush dryer I going back to my bang section my bangs are, are really uneven i have layers so it's kind of hard for me to like pick them out but that's most of it here So now I'm gonna take my curling tool and put it up away from my face, facing away from my face. It's a velcro one so it will stick without me pinning it. There you go. That kind of looks funny but we have to work with what we have. Alright, so now we're gonna be going into my back section. So my hair blows dries pretty straight. This is why I try to, when I blow dry it, I try to go higher. So it gives me more volume. So I do have much more volume up here, so I'm good. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take my silk roller and first clip it on the middle of my head right here. top of my head and then what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna take this first section it's pretty thin I'm gonna say it's about two inches and then I'll start rolling it pretty tightly onto the stick and then I'll just keep grabbing that section with another piece about the same size and then doing the same thing and I'll just keep going until I finish with the side of my hair Another tip is how to keep your hair staying curled is putting some oils. If your hair is oily, then um, don't do that. 
just because the oils tend to make your hair get your hair back and restore it to the to the way it was what i recommend is using styling gels like i did or using mousse into the hair so that it stays a little longer what i like about mousses is that they don't really ruin the texture they're much more lighter than like gels or hairsprays so that's why i enjoy mousse more which one i recommend is this one by kristen les this gives me actually a good volume i have to put it on a damp hair but use a little bit just because if you do use a lot it will change the texture of your hair and it's just going to look and feel a lot more greasier than you wanted it to be i had a, <laughs> a mistake done like that before where i had to rewash my hair just so that i could style it normally all right this section is coming out a little now we're going to this side we're going to do the same thing so taking a piece right on top about a two inch sized and then rolling it back away from the face taking another one grabbing the piece that you already had before and then doing the same thing and then grabbing this piece from the bottom and grabbing the next one so what i'm gonna do after that is i'm gonna take this side and put it up in a scrunchie on the other side and just pull it and do the same thing on this side as well I'm gonna pull the scrunchie and just make it tighter so it doesn't look too obnoxious and then I could either go get ready and change my outfit and just do whatever I want for about like 15 to 20 minutes and then the hair would be pretty good so i'm gonna do that right now and i'll be back with you all right so this is a different setting but my hair is ready to be let out i'm going to probably start off with the back It's been about, I'm gonna say, 10 to 15 minutes, and here is the result. <laughs> I hope you guys love this video I, like I did. This is a really an uh, easy and effortless look. I usually do this like when I'm rushing to work or like rushing to go out somewhere like spontaneously. So this is the look that I go for because it's so nice and just cute and effortless. And it's perfect for those who have layers. Why don't you give it a try? Comment down below if that's something that you want to try later on. I love doing these for you. If you want to see more of these types of content, please let me know as well. I will be posting more soon, more often as well. So make sure you turn on the bell ring on so that you're going to get notifications whenever I post. Subscribe and like this video. Support my channel. I really really enjoy making videos for you guys and i'm just so happy that you're here and that i'm doing what i'm doing right now i've been wanting to do this for so long and i'm just so genuinely happy that i already grew to the point of having around 400 followers in a span of about two months of posting so i'm very excited for this journey and i hope you are as well and enjoy your new hair Peace out.